welcome in the second part of the timeline introduction. So, adding layers. And now, if we see the waveform like this, uh, we can do completely nothing with the laser show because we don't have one of the most important thing here, which is the layer. Layer is uh, the place where you are putting, loading all uh, animations, images, frames, uh, uh, call it as you want it. So long story short, if you don't put the layer, you can't make any timeline synchronized laser show. You can import your own layers created in the editor mode, or you can just import ILDA frames from your hard drive. You have two options, which is very helpful. For that episode, I will show you how to import all the files from the hard drive, because we will need one to show next, next feature in that mode. So let me import some file. Okay, now let's use that uh, animation. Now we are seeing the ILDA file, the animation on that preview window. And as uh, mentioned before, uh, we can change that preview into two dimensional, three dimensional, and combined 2D with 3D preview. So we are seeing it kinda kind of life but also we are seeing the shape of the animation to help us to imagine how it look life uh, look like uh, life okay but next mode which is next feature which is envelopes we have something like x horizontal displacement a y vertical displacement which is x and y axis intensity color hue red color channel, green color channel, and blue color channel, and also rotation. That's something uh, you can also do in the editor mode, which I highly recommend, but sometimes it will be easier and quicker to change some settings of the animation by using that envelopes. And that's how it works. For example, of uh, for this example, let's use color hue. And now we are seeing the, the envelope over here. We can go closer by just scrolling the, 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 the mouse to zoom in. Let's uh, go to the beginning of the animation. And now we can click somewhere over here. And we see two things are happening right now. First of all, the line showed up over here. And that this line is showing where we are on the envelope, in which position. And also we see a little dot over here. Uh, which is guiding us where the line is on a specific frame. And we can put one dot in each uh, frame on the timeline, which will help us to create kind of chart and animate in the hue. So check the results. on each place in that envelope we will have other change of the hue and that's how we can animate the hue the color of the animation in situation when we don't want to change the whole animation in editor mode then we can simply change the colors relatively on the uh, by using the, 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 the hue envelope similar effects we can we can achieve by using other envelopes for example intensity in this example 
this envelope shows the maximum level of intensity and the lowest level of the intensity which helps us to create some uh, fade in and fade out effect manually uh, i will show you later how to do that uh, automatically more out, out automatically but in this uh, example turn on turn off the intensity and then for example we can increase it and our animation will show up in a few frames in this example we can also make it last a bit longer and that's uh, one shortcut for you right now by clicking the D and holding the D you can select the place you know, where you would like to delete the points on the envelope like this we have dots here the points and we can delete it and exactly like the same here so if you make some mistake that's one of the easiest uh, ways to do that so let's go back to the fade, uh, fade in mode we have turned it off the animation the brightness for example scroll out to uh, to zoom out and let's uh, show our animation in the middle and play and this is how intensity envelope is working more examples a bit later so when we when we're gonna make the the, the, the laser show and uh, work with the synchronization x uh, axis y axis is just moving the, the animation up down left right a red color channel a green blue is for setting uh, these channels only and rotation for example if you like your uh, mm, line or any other animation to rotate in uh, its own axis the next important thing is uh, offset and speed offset helps to shift the audio relative uh, to the timeline during playback it's helpful in uh, your if your audience will stay pretty long way from the speakers and there will be a delay between the music they hear and the uh, lasers they are seeing because as you know light is traveling through the air to the space way quicker faster than the uh, than the music the audio so uh, from bigger distance then you can get big delay which uh, will cause the unsynchronization between the music and your perfectly synchronized show one thing i'd like to mention is also the mark uh, button it helps you to mark a specific place on the waveform or, or the timeline uh, and it puts some a guideline marker for you why we could use that only for example for moving or uh, changing the position of animation or if you'd like to change the duration of the of the, uh, of the of the animation you can just put the marker and you will know for how long you should make the animation last longer to clear the marker point just click the clear and it's done at this point i could also show you how to make the uh, animation last longer how to change the duration without editing the, uh, the animation there are two ways you can just click on the right edge of the animation and hold it and just drag it but this way you will make nothing else as repeating the animation and it's like one and another 
Just repeat it two times. You can spot black bar over here and here. And then this is the place where animation uh, initially ends. Here, so this is the first animation and second animation. And here, third animation starts. But in this way, you will, see, you will have the animation with the same speed, the same duration, etc. If you'd like to make it a bit faster or longer in other period of time, then you should click and hold the shift button. Now you see something akin to saw teeth. And you can squeeze it or make it, it longer. And now you will see that the speed of uh, the animation is completely different. Now it, uh, it, it is filling more space in the music file, but it's uh, a bit slower than it used to be. But by clicking the command and Z, you can make something like undo and re redo by command and Y and we can see the difference in speed. And that's very useful if you would like to change the number of frames um, of, the, of your animation without duplicate the animation, just to make it a bit longer or uh, a bit shorter if uh, your animation is not fitting uh, exactly in the place uh, where it meant to be. thing I would like to mention is how to put a shortcut on the timeline. It will be very helpful if you'd like to use Laser Show Gen for some live show with live animations. You can put a lot of them on the timeline. And if you would like to just jump between uh, a few animations, for example, let's make one animation here. We will import second one here and fourth, uh, third animation here. Then just easily click the J, press shortcut button, for example, one, then Let's go to the second animation, click J and two. And the last one, J and three. And now by clicking on the shortcuts, you can just easily jump through the shortcuts and, and the animation you, you are using. That's three, two, one two, three. The last one thing is the playback speed. With this feature, you can change the speed of the, of the preview of the playback in the timeline mode. Why you should do that? Because that will help you to put the animation in the best place on the timeline. Of course, in 90% uh, cases, you will be able to do that without changing the speed. But sometimes, uh, due to the music, the song, it's hard to find the perfect place for some complicated, complex uh, animation and that speed uh, parameter will help you to do that. So as an example, take a look on uh, this one. And now we can see, or maybe like this, that animation is starting to play way, way too quick uh, before the, before the um, drum beat. So we can change the speed and make it slower because I didn't for, I, I forget to mention we can change speed to 67%, 44%, 30% and 20%.
so go to 67% and now we can hear the difference and this should help us to put the animation in the proper on the right place so we moved it a bit uh, fur further and now we can see and hear that animation starts in way better moment and to confirm that just change the speed to 100% to normal normal speed and i think that's perfect right now thank you very much for watching this and see you in next episode